Well, this is the third hatchling uh, rescue this year. Here you see the three-striped mud turtle that I uh, rescued on the 22nd of September. Very tiny. Uh, trying to cross the street in a residential neighborhood. Had no chance of surviving where it was, so uh, it's amazing I even saw it. It looked like a little, little bug crossing the street. Picked it up, took it home, and set up the hatchling tank. Uh, we had rescued a, a soft shell hatchling and a musk turtle hatchling, both released uh, just prior to finding this little guy. Uh, what you see here in the middle of the hatchling tank is a little box I, I uh, built out of egg crate and fill it with little fragments of moss. Uh, it's nice, soft, and very turtle, uh, very hatchling friendly. The, uh, you can see the turtle burying down into it uh, where it'll uh, rest or sleep or if it just wants to feel safe. It's also an easy place to feed them because you can keep track of the food. Here now, outside of the moss ball box, you can see the turtle roaming around in the, um, in the plants. I use uh, live plants uh, with hatchlings because the plants are more supple and easier for the hatchling to work through it than plastic plants. Here you see the little turtle taking a ride in the filter. He uh, gets caught in the filter stream and he gets rolled and pummeled and uh, runs into some plants. Uh, another reason why plants are very important uh, in, in a tank like this. This turtle uh, went through that ride again and again and again. I was convinced that he actually enjoyed it. Here you can see how heavily planted the tank is. Uh, this is the last little video clip I took before releasing the turtle. This is uh, taken on the 3rd, I believe, of October before releasing the turtle the next day. Uh, it had grown considerably. It was, uh, its right eye was completely healed and it was uh, rambunctious and, and, and was eating very well. I, I would have probably kept it a little bit longer, um, but the weather will start to cool pretty soon. It's into October now, so I wanted to release it so it had a chance to get acclimated. And here's the release point on the Hillsborough River. You can see it's um, a swampy area um, off the river here, a lot of uh, vegetation. Uh, the water is uh, kind of dark with tannin, a lot of wood and, and uh, bark and uh, branches and things like that, leaves. Excellent habitat for a uh, tiny mud turtle. And uh, I'm pointing to the spot where I'm going to release it, and I'll place the turtle right there on that, uh, that particular spot. Going to miss this little guy. Anyone who's kept hatchlings knows how they grow on you really fast. Anyway, there we are, putting it down. Oops. Now, as it, as it turns out, um, the turtle sat there for several minutes before it finally got into the water, so I had to really edit this video, or it would have been uh, somewhat long. And you can see he's starting to move. I think he's a little intimidated by uh, the surroundings. I kind of felt bad, like I was... Uh, deserting him, but this is where he belongs to be, and I'm sure he's going he's gonna to do real well. And he's turning around, uh, facing the wrong way, and I'm, I'm, I'm going, oh no, the little guy doesn't even want to go in the water, and wasn't sure what to do here, but uh, he keeps turning and finally realizes uh, what's up, and he will uh, head into the water here in just a few seconds. Uh, while I'm doing this video, I'm being eaten alive by mosquitoes, which is part of the reason the camera is moving so much. And just as he gets ready to go into the water, the mosquitoes are really chomping down on me. And I move the camera a little bit, and, which kind of ruins uh, the video. Uh, and uh, I, I had DEET on me, but um, some of these mosquitoes were totally immune to this stuff and uh, were having at it. I got quite bitten during this uh, few minutes. And finally, the little guy heads into the water as I'm slapping at mosquitoes. And that's it. That is the last I ever saw him. Once again, there's the location where we released him, he or she. Minus the mosquitoes, and it's a, it's a great location. As we exited this uh, fairly remote part of the uh, river, we went into the River Hills Park area and came upon this blue heron and got a quick shot of him as he uh, flew away. Hope you enjoyed the video.